Hey there folks, welcome back to my waking nightmare and I just got finished shooting a 20 minute video for something that I could have covered in about two minutes. So here's take two, we're gonna try this again. Um, I have this Game Boy Color OLED backlight kit installed here and I've had this Game Boy Color sitting on this precise screen um, pretty much since I assembled it uh, with the sole intent of seeing exactly how long it takes for my OLED screen to do exactly what OLED screens are known for. Uh, see how long it takes for it to burn in. Uh, now I like this test in particular because it has, it it's broken out really nicely. We have red subpixels only, green subpixels only, blue subpixels only, um, from least intense to most intense, and then all three subpixels from least intense to most intense, and they're all divided out. So I've had it on this screen for, as of now, five hundred hours that's five zero zero and it has burned in uh now i first noticed signs of burn in at around 300 hours so well hand signs right three zero zero um but you know that was of course under optimal conditions you know i i i have this thing set brightness 10 so the brightness is maxed out i have the pixel grid mode on uh, so that will be noticeable as well. Um, and then, of course, I have it on a static screen. Now, yeah, I know a lot of the elements in a lot of the games don't really move around as you're playing them. Uh, so, like, if you play nothing but Pokemon, chances are, you know, after a few hundred hours, you'll have your character burned into the center of your screen. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. We'll see what happens. But I can tell you during those games... You know, the screen is constantly changing. You're, ch you're changing from one scene to the next, blah, blah, blah. It's not a static image. It's not as terrible for your screen as something like this is. This is absolute worst case scenario where I just have the brightness as high as it goes, which does put the most wear and tear on an OLED screen. And then I have a static image just kind of sitting there, which also does a lot of wear and tear on OLED screens. So I guess let me get on with it and let me show you what the actual burn-in looks like. Um, like I said, this is like perfect condition. This is the perfect storm um, for this issue. I'm not saying this isn't gonna happen. I'm just saying it's probably not gonna happen to you nearly as quickly as it did for me. And it's probably not gonna be nowhere near as noticeable. Let me wipe the screen off. So you can see a little bit better through my fingerprints. Now, if you're looking at this, you, know, you can see the background. There should be the four discrete sections. You could see where the red subpixels were lit up, green, blue, and then all three. Um, I can tell you just looking at this screen, the uh, second row here, I believe that was green. Those fared the best, it seems, followed by red, then blue, and then, of course, all three. Um, I will go back here and we will go onto a solid screen. You can see that. That's what white looks like. Hopefully it's coming through on camera. I like to set it to a lighter gray though. I think that's a little bit easier to see. And there you have it. Of course, the bottom row is the darkest burned in. Uh, and then, but you can still see the other three, especially towards the right side of the screen. Now, of course, that is all pretty um, easy to see, at least in person. Hopefully it's coming through on camera. Um, this is, like I said, this is absolute worst case scenario. So here's what it looks like in game. Let's, let's say you're um, really bad at Pokemon like I am. This is exactly what it would look like for you had you decided to burn in your Game Boy with 500 hours of RGB 240p test suite. Um, watch as I get my my rear thoroughly handed to me by Misty with my underleveled and poorly typecast Pokemon. So yeah, like I said, after about 300 hours, that's when I started noticing signs, but again, I was looking very close. I was trying to cause burn-in and trying to measure burn-in. Uh, so what, all I'm trying to say is a casual user might not have scrutinized it nearly as much as I did. Um, I didn't check it 
at a set time. Um, you know, sometimes I checked it once a day. Sometimes I checked it once a week. Um, I, I checked it on milestones. And I did take pictures every time I checked it. So I have pictures ranging from like 24 to 70 hours apart. Um, I can upload those, but I'm not going to because um, a lot of the earlier pictures, like you can barely tell there's burn in. I'm, I'm thinking if I upload those, whatever image hosting service handles them is just going to destroy any any credible ounce of um, pixels there <laughs> and just convert it to, to JPEG noise and, and just get lost in the wind, as it were. Um, I'll have them. Maybe I'll just, like, zip them up and throw them on Google Drive or something, but I'm not going to throw in the effort otherwise. But I will upload, of course, the last image, the image that caused me to... Um, do this entire video uh, at about 500 hours, where you can see a little bit more closely. You can sort of kind of see it on here. At least I can see it in person. I'm looking for it, but that's, I think, the only reason I can see it. I feel as though if I were to hand this off to a lay person and ask them if there's anything wrong with the screen, they'd still just be sitting there marveling at how Game Boy Color has such a um, bright, vivid, backlit screen in it. I wouldn't even notice the burn-in. So, yeah, it's a thing. It happens. I really don't think that's that big of an issue. I'm I'm surprised. Um, now, I, I know this company, their history behind putting out kits, they almost always, almost always mess something up royally, at least on the first go-around. Um, you know, their very last kit that I take a look at the button controls were so broken that it would allow you to put, I think the screen had like 17 levels of brightness or something, but you could just keep going past 17 and then it like cycled through all the characters of whatever um, um, character set it had. It, it was kind of wild. Um, oh, fuck, I forgot that thing's ground. Um, and so, of course, if you manage to get out of the range of the brightness controls, you just didn't have any brightness control anymore. It was just stuck off <laughs> until you looped back around. Uh, but anyway, all that to say, there isn't anything overtly ridiculous with this. As far as I can tell, absolute worst issue is that this is potentially not compatible with an extremely rare and early revision of the Game Boy Color motherboard. Uh, so if you have the original release of the motherboard, a revision A CPU on a revision 01 board, you, you might have an incompatibility. I've only found two people reporting that, um, neither of which seemed the most trustworthy sources and neither of which were, we were able to verify after the fact that that was explicitly the issue. So maybe, maybe not. Um, I personally don't have one of those revisions on hand, so I, I, I can't test it. I was unable to reproduce the issue. Um, it seemed to work with all my other boards just fine. I just don't have an O1 one to test with. Um, and at the end of the day, it's not my responsibility and I'm not going to spend money to troubleshoot someone else's issues. So that's, that's, that's how it is. But anyway, I think that's about all I've got. Um, I think I've made my point. I hope I've made my point. I hope there's plenty of, uh, evidence in here. Uh, you can see what my screen looks like with burn in. You can see that I'm having absolutely no problem playing it. That's certainly not the screen. That is the limiting factor here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm saying I'm bad at video games, um, which I am. I'm I'm in a very bad position to take on Misty with my party as is right now. Uh, but it is what it is. It's because I skipped around and yeah. So yeah, that would be my fourth badge, I guess, not my normal third badge. Uh, but anyway. 
That should be the second badge normally. Whatever, you get the idea. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I will go ahead and link to some other videos on this if you want to take a look at the kit as is. Um, you can see some of my my investigations into that glitch in the other video I did, as well as some better power usage measurements. I have not thought of a good way to test the power usage on these kits yet. Uh, I'm thinking I'm just going to keep using the exact same method I have been and, you know, just with the added caveat of your mileage may vary. You could get wildly lower or wildly higher depending on the specific game you're playing and whatever settings you're using, you know, like if you have the emblem illuminated or not, you know, stuff like that. But um, I think that's just how it's going to have to be. And uh, huge, huge shout out to Retro Game Repair Shop who provided me this kit in the first place. Um, admittedly, had I bought this kit out of my own pocket and threw it in a Game Boy, I wouldn't have been so eager to run burn-in testing on the screen as I was. Um, not that anyone should intentionally destroy their stuff, but by, by me trying to find the limit, um, I have hopefully helped out everyone else who now now understands that there's a limit they should try and avoid if they don't want burn in s s stuff like that i mean that should have been obvious from the get-go but now now we have a number to go with it i guess um and i've got another screen i can swap into this thing eventually so it's not not a total waste um but this screen's not dead yet so if there's any more testing we want to do uh i'll keep abusing this one and uh, in the meantime, I think that's about all I've got. So thanks for watching. Um, I know this video ended up almost as long as the old one, but it's still quite a bit shorter. And I think I front loaded all of the important bits anyway. So if you're still here, thanks for watching. Um, if you're not still here, I still hope you got what you wanted, what you needed out of this video. And uh, I'll catch you all next time. Thanks for, uh, thanks for sticking with me, guys. To another year.